Hey, it's Airsoft Mike and I'm here today to show you my new action cam. Now, as I've mentioned before in previous videos, 2016 will be the year where you will see, more often than not, gameplay on the Airsoft Mike YouTube channel. You're used to seeing loads of unboxings of Airsoft weapons and tactical gear, but this year, You'll still get some of that. You'll still get the odd airsoft gun and gear and stuff. But I'm gonna concentrate now on uploading gameplay on this channel. And I've been saying that all along, and I mean it. My only issue is that I still couldn't find the ultimate action cam. When I say ultimate, don't get me wrong, we all know GoPro, that's the daddy, okay? That's the one the main one, dare I say it, the best one. I have a GoPro, but I will not use that for Airsoft. I'll tell you why in a moment. As you know, I have the SJ Cam, perfect, absolutely fantastic. So you're probably wondering, why have I got another action cam? Well, apart from the fact that this is a review channel, yeah, I do unboxings and things like that. So even if I didn't need another action cam, I'd still get them in just to do an unboxing, give you my opinion, and you know, do my own little review, airsoft mic style. <laughs> but I specifically got hold of one of these bad boys because I don't want a little square. I've decided I don't want a little box like this on the front of my fast helmet. I want what I used to use which is one of these. The only problem is, this is a budget one. I absolutely loved it purely because I could mount it on the side of my fast helmet. And I think it looks way cooler having this sort of cylindrical shaped action cam on the side of your helmet, as opposed to a GoPro or an SJ cam or anything similar on the front of your helmet. Now, each to their own. I am not slagging it off saying, nah, it's rubbish you can't really have a camera on the front of your helmet. Nonsense. You can, and I also like that style, but I much prefer having something this kind of shape on the side of my fast helmet. But the only problem being, this one, you really do get what you pay for. This costs me about 20, 20 pounds, I don't know, 25 pounds. It works, it does the job, but oh my gosh, updating the firmware, it's like you need a degree. And also, it really struggles in low light situations. And this is where this bad boy comes in. The Contour Roam 3. Waterproof HD action camera. Nice looking box. It's got like a, a magnetic thing going on here. Yeah, anyway, nice looking box. And look, nice window there showing you the action cam straight away. Let's just uh, bring it up there for you. So as you can see, it's not purely or strictly a bullet shape or cylindrical type action cam. It does have this whole chunky thing on the bottom there, but let's just get it out and show it to you. So, what do you get in the box? Well, straight away you can see the camera itself. I'll take that out in a moment. You get a free micro SD card, uh, eight gigabyte and a micro SD card adapter. That's so you can put it in a card reader or in your computer directly. Okay, so you've got a little contour sticker. Can you see that there? Look, okay. Uh, what else do you get? That looks like some kind of lanyard. Okay, so we're getting to the actual options you have in mounting this action cam on your helmet. So this would, I would suggest, will go on the side of your helmet. Now, remember, this is an Airsoft channel, so everything I'm gonna to refer to is going to be about fast helmets or any other type of helmets you may wear during gameplay. But of course, I know that other people from other walks of life will stumble across this video. So I will say now, you can also put this on your motorbike helmet. This bit, I can feel it straight away. It's made out of rubber, okay? That's flexible. And I'm thinking, yep, yeah, this piece right here, that's solid, that's a solid piece of plastic. And right on the back here, you simply peel off the back and you can stick it on your helmet. And then you slide the action cam on this piece right here. I'll show you that in a moment. Let's move on. Okay, so as you can see here, there's yet another mounting option. 
again yep the pieces around the edge here are flexible rubber and this is solid plastic here and I believe from what I've seen this rotates Yes, it does. So straight away, you can see how handy this particular mounting option is, because obviously, when you put it on the side of your helmet, you can then adjust the camera to whatever angle you like. And very nice of them. They've included a spare double-sided sticky tab, as it were, so that if you ever have to remove this off an old helmet, at least you have a new fresh sticky double-sided tab that you can put on the back here, and it will be nice and secure on your new helmet. And of course in the box you have a standard USB cable for transferring images over to a computer or other devices and of course for charging the camera. And of course they supply you a nifty little pouch here for your camera which has a drawstring application at the top. Right so here's the camera itself, very sturdy, it's got a little weight to it, not too heavy, looks very similar to the Contour Roam 2. But of course you can tell the difference obviously from the side it doesn't say Rome 3 or anything but as I've just shown you right there on the lens it tells you which action cam it is and as you can see it's the Rome 3. So here it is the fantastic Contour Rome 3 action cam. Now one of the main reasons why I had to get this one is because of this lens right here. It's done in such a way that you can actually rotate it so that you get a perfect horizontal shot every time. Because if you think about it, if you put this on the side of your helmet, it's not always going to be straight. Not a problem. You can simply twist this lens around to compensate for that. So you always get a nice level horizontal shot. Fantastic. I'll show you that in action in a moment. Right, so let's just get around to the back of the unit. We'll come back to this part right here because this is another reason why I wanted to get this camera. But let's get to the back of the unit. Obviously behind here is your other business end. Obviously the main business end is the bit right here that captures all your footage. But all of that is useless if you don't go in here first and insert your SD card. Let's get in there now. Okay, so to get into the back here, you simply move that little lever across and you push up and it's now open and there you go. So right here you've got your USB socket, here you've got your micro SD card slot, here you've got a switch where you can switch it to one function or another but guess what within the software that's supplied with this camera you can actually program that switch to do something completely different to its presets. Fantastic! Okay, now right down the bottom there, you've got your format button, which I think is fantastic. So you don't actually need to use a computer at any point to format your micro SD card. At the very top here, you've got your reset button. And this little button right here, that's where the laser comes in. As I mentioned before, one of the main ways you should be able to basically uh, work out that your lens is the right way up and it is shooting as close to horizontal as possible is by lining up these two dots there. But again, if it's on the side of your helmet, it won't necessarily be looking straight like that. It could be a funny angle. To get around that, you simply press this button here, point it towards a wall or any surface and look at what happens. Press, can you see that? See that red line right there? So let's say for example it was on your helmet and it looked like that. Get hold of the lens and turn it. Now can you see that line? That red line is moving as I turn the lens. So that's one way you can adjust it so you've got a nice straight horizontal line. Okay, as I showed you earlier, they do supply you with a little micro SD card, but I'm going to put my own in. I'm going to put a full capacity one because it takes up to 32 gigabytes. So I'm going to slot this one in. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and format the card and once again you just press this little button down there that I showed you earlier. You simply press that, hold it in for a few seconds until you hear a bleep. There's your bleep and you should see a light flashing right there which signifies it's formatting the card. And it's ready make sure you engage that lock right there so that this does not accidentally open up during gameplay.
Right, so the other reason why I really wanted to get this bad boy is because of this massive slide on the top. I think this is so practical, especially for you airsofters out there, because when this is on your helmet and you want to start recording or stop recording, I don't know any other action cam out there that makes it this easy. This entire slide, that's all you have to touch to start recording or stop recording. And you simply do it by sliding this forward, and I'll do it now, and the camera will start recording straight away. It's forward, you'll see the lights come on. It's now recording, fantastic. And to stop the camera recording, guess what, simple as, sliding it back but before i slide it back let me just show you something on the front see that light right there that signifies it's recording now a lot of people don't like that during gameplay especially in cqb situations where it could be dark and sometimes a strong little red light down here could really give away your position so don't worry, because remember before I showed you beneath here, there's a little switch that you can program to do different things. Well, one of the functions is you can set this camera to record in 1080p or 720p, or you can reprogram that little switch so that it turns these indicator lights off and the laser, fantastic. And of course, you've got this handy little lock feature right there. Push it across and this slide ain't going nowhere. Another cool feature of this action cam, the Contour Roam 3, is that it can take nice, sharp photos. If you look right there, to get it into the photo mode, all you simply do is stop it from recording. It stopped, so there's no light at the bottom here. And you simply hold this button down on the back the photo light indicates right here, and every time I press this button, there's a photo, there's another photo, there's another photo. Right, so let's get into the mounting options right here, and yes, right down the bottom here is where you would attach whatever accessory you have to enable you to put this either on a helmet, a bike, in a car, whatever you want really. So as I showed you before, supplied in the box are these two mounts and they are so simple to attach to this camera. So you simply line them up and slide it on. And there it is, it's on the side right there. Now, remember I showed you earlier that this particular mount is the one where you can swivel the camera at different angles. The last thing you need is for this to be moving whilst you're playing Airsoft. Not a worry, because just there is a lock button, you simply Position the camera whatever angle you want. So I'm just gonna leave it there, for example. And I just press this lock button and look, no more swiveling, it is locked into place. Fantastic. And of course, the other mount that I showed you earlier, this is the fixed one. This one doesn't swivel. This is the one that you could also put on your helmet or on other things, but you wouldn't be able to angle the camera at different angles, okay? But it's the same principle. You simply just slide it on the groove right here. Right, so, what if you want to put this bad boy on your airsoft weapon? Not a problem. This is why I have this second package right here. So let's just quickly get it open. Right, so this is the first of two mounting options that I ordered. This one I ordered in the UK and it came the next day, so that's very good. The second one, I couldn't find it anywhere, so I had to order it from America. So that's gonna take a few days to come, so I can't show it to you right now, but I will throw a photo up in a moment of that second mounting option that I ordered. But this is the one I've got now. This is the one so that you can mount it, obviously, on your airsoft weapon. Allegedly, you can also use this on real steel, but I've heard negative things about this particular mounting option on the real steel. I'll talk to you about that in a moment. So let's just get it open. There it is in the box. It's also made by Contour. Sorry, the light is terrible. It's a bit too strong. So let's just get it out of the box. There you go, it's out of the box, so there's no glare anymore. So let's just uh, get it mounted on one of my airsoft weapons so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about and I'll tell you the pros and cons of using this original contour mount for your airsoft weapon. So those of you already familiar with your 20 millimeter Picadini rail system, look, it pretty much mounts like any other item that you would put on a rail system. So you would loosen that up, 
just to widen these two sections here. Right, so the way I'm going to mount this is I'm going to put this on the camera first and then put it on the airsoft weapon. I suppose you could put this on the airsoft weapon first and then put the camera on, but I'm just going to try it this way around first. So there it is, it's mounted on the other side of the Contour Roam 3. Grab an airsoft weapon of your choice, obviously it has to have a rail system on the side if you want the camera on the side, and then you just mount your camera. So there you go, she's nicely mounted on this particular airsoft weapon, nice and firm and sturdy. Earlier on I mentioned about you can use this camera in real steel situations, however, I think a recoil in the real steel world will be too strong for this particular mounting option from Contour. Now there are other options out there, they are very hard to get hold of, but there used to be this company called, I think it's Str they did a metal version of this particular mount. This one's polymer, but there's a metal version. It's designed differently and it holds the camera on any gun, whether it's airsoft or real steel, very firmly, and it doesn't fall off. You run a high risk of your camera kissing the ground if you was to use this on a real weapon. So far, I've seen some reviews of people that use this particular mount on airsoft uh, guns. Now we all know that some airsoft guns do replicate or simulate recoil. I've not seen any accidents, I've not heard of any yet. Probably you're going to say yes, it has happened. But this particular one, nice and firm. Now, the other mounting option that I ordered is this one right here. The difference between that one and this one here that I'm using on this airsoft weapon is that obviously, as I mentioned before, this one does not swivel. It's fixed, it's solid, which is perfect because you'd need that for an airsoft weapon because it looks perfectly down alongside the barrel. But if you want to mount this on your helmet, you are going to need the mounting option that allows you to swivel it up and down. That one is on order, as I said, it's coming from America. I can't really show it to you other than this photo. What I will do is I will remove this one off this airsoft weapon now. I'll put this on my helmet just so that you can see what it looks like on a helmet, but I won't be able to adjust it. So there you go, I've got this gun mount on my helmet, <laughs> just to show you that it, it, it fits on there perfectly. As I mentioned before, not really suitable to go in a helmet. I'm just showing it to you so you can see the overall effect of having that Contour uh, Roam 3 on your helmet. The one I'm waiting for from America, as I mentioned, has a swivel function on it so that you can line it up nicely when you're in gameplay. And there it is. That's what it looks like on the side of my fast helmet. Very nice. Very cool. In fact, I'd even go as far as saying, nice. Now, I know a few of you are probably saying, but what about this beautiful lens right here? Surely a BB will smash that to pieces or at least crack it. And you're right, I've heard of people having these things shot out by a BB. Now, you really are gonna have to be really unlucky and unfortunate for that to happen to you. Because normally, from a good distance, this should withstand the odd BB hit. But at a much closer range, there's a strong possibility it could crack or completely smash this lens. But a friend of mine sent me one of these. It's purpose built. It's got a very, very strong lens protector there. It simply slots over the front of your contour and it protects your lens. Now, if you're wondering where do you get one of these from? Well, as I said, it was a friend that gave it to me, but I did have a search online and I believe if you go to eBay, you should be able to see some Contour Roam lens protectors on there. Lovely jubbly, look at that nice fit and that will protect your lens nicely. Now the purpose of me getting this action cam and this lens protector is for a very good purpose indeed because I've booked my very first game for 2016. So. Gameplay will commence on this channel this year. I've already booked where I'm going to. I will take this camera along. I will film my first game for this year and I will throw that up on YouTube for you. And then after that, I will start to announce where I will be doing gameplay. But for this one, I'm not saying anything. I'm just gonna turn up at a site, have a good old game 
use this uh, console roam 3 and report back to you to show you what it was like in gameplay i'll also take uh, two or three uh, airsoft weapons to the game a couple of goggles test them out as well and report back on those two i'm airsoft mike and you've been watching my overview of the fantastic looking console roam 3 action cam So what I'm doing right here is I'm showing you actual footage of my airsoft gun wall through the lens of the Contour Roam 3. Just to give you an idea of the quality you should expect. Now of course the reason for me getting this is for me to use primarily in gameplay. And the audio that you're hearing is through the microphone on the Contour 3 itself. Okay. So you could probably hear a slight difference or a major difference, I don't know, until in the editing stage between this audio and the normal audio of my videos. But this is going through the mic on the action cam.